All right, guys, let's talk about the snag game here in our presentation here. I'm going to start with talking about two-man snag. Now, we don't run two-man snag anymore, but this is the basis of where we started our snag game at in the past, and this is where everything kind of derived from, so I want to talk about it here. Two-man snag really refers to working the boundary or the short side of the field or the two-man side with a snag and a swing and similar properties on the front side. Um, in this play here, we run it from the middle of the field, but I'll show you some clips here. I'll get it to where it shows the play diagram. As you can see here, we have two inside snags, by the receiver, a swing both ways, and then a vertical on the outside. We're in the middle of the field here, but normally we would run it to the boundary, but um, in this game, we felt like we had a pretty good advantage to the short side of the field um, um, and to the middle of the field. This young man right here is a Division One receiver, currently plays and starts for the University of Georgia. So, of course, um, players not plays, right? Here in the blitz, he goes underneath the linebacker who's trying to get out on the swing. So we got two guys out on the swing, nobody on him, and we throw it for a quick short completion. About 15 yards. So you to you again from the tight copy. I personally want him when we're running our snags, we want them to attack the inside shoulder, the inside shoulder at six yards of the outside linebacker. Make him make a decision, and he did, and he was able to get the completion for some yards. All right, I'm going to come back to the tight copy. I'm going to get to the wide copy here so you can see it. Same play, different formation here. We're on the boundary. Same look. Um, the receiver that you saw last time is actually lined up here at our wide, our tight end position, so our quarterback is going to start here. If he decides to go away from the weak side, that's because they have a three-on-two over here. If he decides to go to the weak side, he's got his rhythm, his read, and his rush. Here we have a three-on-three -three triangle that we like here. So here we go. Inside shoulder, as you can see, both of those guys are flying out the box. He should have sat down a little more in this window. He, he kept going, but he's able to make the catch and get up field. I'll show it to you from the tight copy. Quick completion on our two-man snag and then here's the end zone copy as well so you can see it. You can really see the linebackers 33 and 15 eyes on the play. All right, here we're close to the boundary run again. This is us running it preseason. Um, the same view, I want to show you um, multiple people um, in action and then show you some of the problems that you can have in the play. Here, this guy got over top, so he's able to set a win and catch the ball. I left our comments since so you can see our comments. One of the things that happens here that's not supposed to happen but like i said this is a scrimmage game so number 42 this is the young guy when we run our swing routes we don't want our swing routes to look back until they get to the numbers watch where that guy turns around as you can see here he didn't stretch it trying to create that window that linebacker just flees out the box so there we go. That is our two-man snag. This next clip will start our two-man snag.